How to be the best trick or treating house in the area. Make it well lit and obvious that you are offering. Sweeties, decorate your house and make it stand out from others on the street. Get your neighbours involved. Keep it simple. Have a welcome sign. Get dressed up, but don't be too spooky. What time should you go trick or treating? Typically just before sundown, between about 5 and 5.30. How do you say no to trick or treaters? Place a sign up in your front door saying no trick or treating. You do not want to be involved in the festivities. When did trick or treating come to the UK? Tradition originated two centuries ago with Sewin, the festivity to ward off evil spirits, where people would light bonfires and wear costumes to ward off ghosts. The evening before was called All Hallows Eve, which has now become Halloween. This has become a particularly popular festivity across the UK. Since the 1990s, pumpkins have been carved and lanterns placed in them for them to be positioned outside front doors to celebrate Halloween. These reflect the times when pumpkins were used to scare off evil spirits. So here are the top streets in Guildford where your fine trick or treating is welcomed. Typically lanterns we will be lit outside front doors and in front windows. This is typically a guide to somebody that's happy to join in the festivities. Which streets should you visit? Sheepland's Drive, Bushy Hill, Speedwell Close, Marrow Park, Burfham, Beedle View, Queen Elizabeth Park, Stoughton. Have fun everybody! Don't get too spooked. <laughs>